to talk about an anime that has very beautiful animation, but you know what they use their animation on? A certain body, we'll say a certain feature of their body, they put their most like all and like everything they got into animating. And the anime I'm talking about is Akubi Sailor Uniform. I might have said that name wrong. It's, it's whatever. But yes, we'll just go with Sailor Uniform. Now, the one thing, this is like animated by Cloverworks. So yes, if you know, you know them. But yeah, the one thing they do in this show, and also I've heard in the manga they do it a lot too, is that they emphasize a lot on feet. So all the people that got foot fetishes and like feet, hey, watch this anime, bro. This anime is for you because you're going to see feet almost, especially in the first two episodes, you're going to see it so much. But it's just like, it's very interesting. Like, like why even in the manga did the manga like, did, the manga had to have like a foot fetish. That's the only thing I can think of. The manga had to have a foot fetish because like it is interesting or they just wanted to show off feet, I guess. But besides like them showing feet all the time in the first two, first three episodes, I should say. It's actually not that bad of an anime because where this anime falls is the main character. She's basically been living in the country her whole life with her family. They live out there and like no other kids basically are there. I mean, that's what we're kind of told, at least that are, that are her age. Because like we see that she went to school by herself and like she was the only one there and she was there with the teacher and she ate with the teacher and then she would play by herself, stuff like that. And then now she's entering high school and one of the things she's always wanted to do because like she's like she there's like an idol or something like that. That she's like literally like idolized for like a long time that well wears like a uniform that wears a sailor uniform so what she's always wanted to do is wear a sailor uniform when she gets into high school so when she gets into high school like her mom literally makes one for her so like it's her first day there and then like she gets they literally tell her at the school that the uniform like policy changed but they said since like she's always wanted to wear that she can wear it so she's good and like she get to school bro and like bro she the main character has like so much energy bro like it's nuts like how much energy the main character has but like i said this is actually like a pretty decent i actually enjoy this like i actually really do enjoy this anime like i said it just shows a lot of feet so that's why i said you you people that like foot fetishes and like feet y'all will enjoy this Y'all will enjoy this anime a lot because they really show it a lot. Like they, they emphasize it a lot. Like it's crazy. You if they they really show feet at moments that make no sense why they're showing feet. Like the camera will pan down at feet randomly. Like a character will be walking and next thing you know you just see it like bam they're showing feet. So like it's always interesting. But besides that you get to watch like her finally make friends with all these other girls because like basically she's had really no interaction with like other people her age besides like her little sister that's like way younger. So it is very interesting. Like I said it's a good anime. Like I really enjoy like it's one of the ones of this season that's pretty decent like i said the animation is fire in the most recent episode they animated a frog and the frog looked amazing i was like oh shit and like i like looking at like i like literally learning i should say learning all the other girls and like learning stuff about them because that's interesting like they all have their own personalities stuff they like the main character is like very interesting and like she joins the drama club which is like it literally fits her because of like you if as you watch the anime you'll see like how her she's so like energetic and has so much energy that the drama club fits her especially because she does so much different stuff and she's really a character in the first episode bruh she literally does like a handstand in the middle of the class for no reason it's the funniest shit and then like one of the wildest things in this whole anime is when she first meets like the person that's gonna become like maybe her best friend or one of her closest friends she's literally um clipping her toenails in this like literally in the classroom with nobody there and i'm like dog you gonna clean that up and then like the one thing she does is she grabs like she literally gets the toenail clipper and then literally sniffs it and i'm like oh we on that type we on that type of time right now i'm like you're not cleaning up your mess and you're sniffing just to see if you i'm like i don't know why she was sniffing i don't know but it is like bro i should read the manga just to see like how much it shows feet because like it is pretty interesting bro because like a lot most anime don't do stuff like this like yes you see feet in anime but they don't emphasize it as much as this anime bro sailor uniform does it like so much bro and like it's crazy like it really is like wild like how much they like emphasize it but it is like it's just like something different i guess it makes the anime stand out because that gets people to talk about it and then like maybe you might not notice it because i know somebody like that said they didn't notice it, and i was like oh how'd you not notice that when literally they're showing it like every single second especially in that first episode like it's hard to notice in that first episode like this could turn i saw that some people are getting turned off like because you know some people hate seeing certain stuff in anime especially in our new like crazy woke culture with anime now everybody's woke on everything so they talk about any and everything and criticize any and everything that anime does trust me one like bro i've been on tiktok way too long and i see so many people criticize stuff like way too much and it's ridiculous sometimes when i see some of the stuff they criticize i'd be like dog i like i know everybody's woke but still but yeah this anime is pretty decent bro i mess with it 
I really do. If you like slice of life anime, that's like super beautiful, beautiful animated, like animated beautifully, I should say, then you'll like this one. If you just like feet, then you're like this one. But if you're looking, I mean, this actually isn't like a boring because, you know, some slice of life that like is basically based in the countryside and with school and stuff like that sometimes can get boring some of them can get boring but this is actually a pretty decent slice of life and like there's funny stuff to it you get to learn all these different girls like have their own personalities even other characters that you show have their own personality like a little like her literally her little sister has a personality of her own and like it's funny but yeah, if you're watching Abaki's Sailor Uniform, let me know how you feel about it. Let me know, did you ever notice that it shows feet like so much? Because, I mean, even though there are YouTube clips of it, because I literally saw a clip that said all the moments from this anime, just all the feet moments. And I was like, oh, I was like, y'all on this type of time, I see. But yeah, let me know how you feel about this anime. Let me know if you're watching this season. Let me know if you plan on watching it. Let me know if you're going to watch it in the future. Let me know if you watched it and then dropped it. Let me know if you've read the manga, because if anybody on here has read the manga, let me know. Because, like, I did get a comment, like, on TikTok and they were telling me that the manga does the same thing that the anime does. So, it's not like Cloverworth just, like, literally putting their bag, putting their foot in the bag and just showing all these feet off. But, it's actually the mangaka, which is interesting. I'm curious to see, like, I might really have to read that manga just because I really am curious, like, how many times does it show feet off? And, like, is, like, feet, like, a subplot of the story or something? Because, like in my opinion bro it does take away from the story because i'm just like i get curious every time i'm like bro like why are they showing feet so much like is there really like a subplot like like i want to know like does is this like some type of new genre that just like shows feet a lot and it's like maybe they're trying to like embrace feet and show that feet are amazing i don't know who knows if you know let me know because it really is it is one of the things i just think about like why exactly did the manga go with that? I really want to know. I might have to look up the manga code that made this and like see if they have a foot fetish because I really am curious because then that would make things like way clearer and I could be like, oh, they do got one and that would like, yeah. But I don't know. Hey, I digress. Yeah. If you watch this anime, let me know all that. If you enjoyed, like. If you didn't, you can dislike. Subscribe if you really enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. But yeah, Abaki's uniform, Sailor uniform is very interesting. Like I said, I've really enjoyed the story so far. Like it's a, it's a cool little slice of life with some comedy in it. And it also has some feet in it. So there you go. But yeah, like I said, that feet is really just a subplot that you just, it's just there. And like, I'm just curious each episode, I'm, I'm counting like how many times they're going to show. But in the most recent episode, they really toned it down. You really didn't see it like that. So it could have just been like a, one of them, like things they put in early on just to be like, yo, to add, be different and add a little shock value to it. So I don't know. But yeah, if you enjoyed liking all that, but um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.